Thank you everyone for coming on to our gender reveal. We are so excited to get started. It's gonna be so cute and unique. As you know, my wife can be a little extra sometimes. <laughs> hey! I'm kidding. Anyways, we decided to do something very unique that has never been done before. So take out your phones because we're gonna go viral. Woo! Today, we served some delicious cupcakes, but there was only one red velvet cupcake. So whoever ate that cupcake, please step forward. I ate it. All right. So you ate a very special cupcake because in that cupcake, there was a pill. And that pill, there was a liquid. And that liquid is now in your belly. That's weird. And the only way to get it out is to cut it out. Whoa, what? I told you she was a little extra. That's more than just a little extra. Who's ready? Uh, I I'm not. This is nuts. No, this is a gender reveal. Woo! Wow, are you crazy? What are you doing? Is anyone else seeing this? Reveal that gender. 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 Gender. Why couldn't you guys just like pop a balloon with confetti? That would have been so cute. Reveal that gender. 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 Is he, is he peeing himself? Ew, he is! <gasps> An OMG, it's a boy! Yeah! Yeah! I'm having a boy! <laughs> David, what are you looking at? We're being watched, Cody. <laughs> By who? I, I don't see anyone. They're everywhere. They're even in our minds. Are you sure it's not just in your mind? I'm serious, Cody! Okay, okay, what? What is it then? Advertisements. Advertisements? Are, are watching us? Yes! Think of something, anything, but don't tell me! Okay. Okay, let me see your phone. <sighs> Cody? Huh? Were you just thinking of a vacation to the Bahamas? Yeah, how did you know? <gasps> They're really watching us. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Well, 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 what do we do then? Well, we gotta keep calm, but we lock everything and hide. Okay. David, what? Blankets. <gasps> Blankets. Blankets. David. Too late. They're here. No. We're not gonna let them do this to us, Cody. No. We don't want your blankets! Yeah, we don't want those blankets! Yeah, come here, come on! <laughs> Cody? What? Are you thinking about dog food? No. And who is? <laughs> Even our dogs! Bro, Lonzo Ball. Who's that? I don't know. You know what? I'm just trying to be cool. David, you said that you would clean up the garage and take out the trash yesterday. Yeah, I'll do it later. No, you'll do it now. Thank you. So you just let her talk to you like that? No. You know what? I'm going to tell her. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, you're gonna tell her that? Yeah, I'm gonna go and say, hey, listen, don't tell me what to do. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Woo. Great practical joke, Jeff. Got me going to the annex. What was that? Oh, no, it's just nothing. It's just he's Eric. He's being dumb. 
Hello? Yo, did you tell her yet? <laughs> I'm gonna tell her. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I'm gonna t I'm gonna tell her. I'm just waiting for the right time, the right moment. You know what I mean? I know what you're saying. All right, late, man. Yeah. <laughs> What? Excuse me, sir. I have a great opportunity for you. We're selling protein shakes at an all-time low price. Are you serious? Not only that, if you sign up today, you can start selling your own protein shakes. No way. You can make a ton of money. And not only that, if you sign up a friend as well, you can make a ton of money off of his sales. That sounds so good. And if he signs someone up as well, you can make money off of him. And then if he signs someone up, you can make money off of him as well. You can make a ton of money. That is crazy. So what do you think? It starts with one easy payment of $19.99. Okay, here's the thing. I don't have any money. You don't have any money? Zero. No money. I spent it all yesterday. Okay? Nothing left. Really? But... I do have a really nice shovel. You see, this shovel is super nice, and you can buy it off of me for 20 bucks. I don't really need a shovel. And I can sign up for your program, and then you get money off of me, and then if I sign someone up, you get money off of him, and if he signs someone up, you get money off of him, you make all kinds of money. I guess. Okay, 20 bucks, thank you. Thank you. Here you go. Yeah, thanks. You know what? I, I'm so sorry. I, I just remember um, I need gas money. I'm just going to hold on to this 20 and I'll sign up for your program uh, next week. Hey! What are you doing with my shovel? Oh man. Man, you have some nice cards. Yeah, I've been collecting these for years. You know what? I'm going to be on your level one day. Hey, yeah. Do you know what it means when you have a ration between your legs that won't go away? Like, excuse me? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm asking for a friend. Your friend's got a rash in between his legs that won't go away? Yeah, he's, uh, he's had it for like six months now. Uh-huh. And it won't go away, like, no matter what he does. And I'm pretty sure it's spread to his butt docks. Do you have a rash in between your legs that won't go away, David? No, I said I, I, said I was asking for a friend. Oh, yeah? What's your friend's name? <laughs> Red Ash? David, I know all your friends. You don't have any friends named Red Ash. I do. You just don't know him. Oh, yeah? What's he look like? Well, he's he's about as tall as I am. Well, I could have told you that. And he has a mullet and Billy Bob teeth. Oh, really? What else? Because I'm looking through your Instagram right now and none of your friends match that description. Well, that's because he doesn't have an Instagram. So you're telling me you got a friend named Red Ash who has a mullet and Billy Bob teeth. He also has hairy feet and a little, little dinosaur tattoo on his face. Come on, David. Why can't you just admit that you got a rash in between your legs that won't go away? It's not me. I'll prove it. You don't have to do that. I'll show you what's between my legs. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. That's not what I meant. I mean, I'll prove to you that I don't have a rash in between my legs that won't go away. David, just drop it. Drop it? Okay, fine. I'll show you. No, no, no. no. Oh. Just forget it. Just forget it. That's what I meant. Just forget it. My friend really does need help with the rash in between his legs that won't go away. Why do you keep saying the whole thing like that? I don't know. Are you, are you gonna help my friend or what? I'm not helping your friend because he doesn't exist. Who's that? Hey, Red Ash. How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Did you tell him about the rash in between my legs that won't go away? I tried to tell him, but he wouldn't believe me. Spread to my buttocks. That's what I said. Hey, buddy. I got a rash in between my legs that won't go away. So I've heard. Oh my gosh! This is a rash in between my legs. That won't go away. It's spread to my buttocks. He's had it for about six months now. I mean, well, we'll see if we can ask for some help, man. Will you do that for me, buddy? So you're telling me you have a friend with a rash in between his legs that won't go away? Yeah, it's spread to his buttocks, man. Uh-huh. Jared? Yeah. We need to make sure you're not undercover. Really? Don't question his methods. You're free to go, but walk up slowly. Okay. I've known you for years. 
And this is the first time you asked me for help? What are you talking about? I can't remember the last time you invited me for a cup of coffee. We literally just met. Revenge is a dish best served gold. Are you really quoting The Godfather? Okay, I'm sorry. You know what? I was just trying to be dramatic and mysterious, you know? Okay, well, do you really have the stuff or what? Do I have the stuff? Of course I have the stuff. Do you think I'm playing games? No, nah, man. I'm just trying to make sure I'm not getting scammed or something. If this was a scam, you'd already be dead. What? Come with me. Here you go, man. That was easy. Nice meeting you. Totally. You don't know him? Oh, no. I just paid him 20 bucks to do that. Oh, okay. He's a pretty nice guy. Wait. Are you sure you want this? This is very dangerous stuff. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. How many pounds, my friend? Is that meat? 100% cow meat from only the best cows in Mexico. I knew this had to be a scam. What are you talking about? This is no scam. Look at this. You told me you had performance enhancing drugs. This is even better. How in the world is this better? From the very day these cows are born, they're given the steroids. And I guarantee you that if you eat this, whether it be in tamales or tacos or wherever you want to cook it, that you will grow four times the size of you are now. And you will pick up a car. And you know what? Maybe the Avengers will call you to be on their team. You gotta be joking right now. I never joke. Never once in my life I never joke, okay? Check this out, okay? Check this out. This is a baby cow from Mexico, only four hours old. Okay, but how do I know if I eat this, it's going to affect me? Okay, let me tell you a story. One time, my neighbor said, hey, Juan, can you watch our kid? We want to go watch a movie. I said, okay, fine, whatever. So they came, and they dropped the kid off, and they said, oh, can you watch him for four hours? I said, oh, geez, that's a long time. Anyways, the kid said, oh, I'm hungry. Like, kids need to eat, apparently. So I said, okay, I'll grill you something up. I put a little meat on the grill, I didn't know I was giving him the Mexico cow meat. He ate the Mexico cow meat, and this is him now. That's insane. I call him the incredible Hercules Hulk. All right, I'll take the whole chest. No, I cannot do that. You know why? Because my friend is having a party tonight, and I'm grilling this meat just special for him. That's fine with me. Great doing business with you. Thanks. Have a good day. Canelo, my friend! Yeah, I'm on my way to your house right now to grill for you, buddy! Hello, my name is Sensei Savage, and I'm the creator of the Woke Dojo, where only the most finesse fighters come to train. Dab your Sensei. Some people might not like my training methods as they are a little unorthodox. All right, we're gonna start with a little warm up, and ready, begin. All right, guys, let's keep those hips moving. Come on, let's get them warm. A little faster, let's do it, speed it up. But I believe that my style of karate is going to change the world as we know it. Now, will they be better fighters? That's a question that I would find very offensive if you asked me. Now, you need to make sure that you follow through with your whip jab, because it's all one fluid motion. Let me show you. Ready? Ha! Ha! Yeah! And that is the perfect defense. The nay nay weave. Dab your sensei. I originally joined the Woke Dojo because I wanted to find a way to bond with my son. I'm pretty sure he hates me, but I low-key love him. Wait, was it high-key? Low-key? It's okay. <laughs> I'm Gucci. Now let's take a moment of silence and thank our biggest inspiration here at the Woke Dojo. It's every day, bro. It's every day, bro. If you think that the Woke Dojo is just a place to come and have a turnt time, you're in for a real surprise, as we have intense cardio sessions with seven minutes of high velocity twerk downs. Ready? Down. Up. Twerk. Down. Followed by 20 straight selfie squats. Now bring it down. Squat. Lower. Lower. There. Hold it. Hold it. Bring your hand up. High. Duck face. Snap it. We also offer a wide variety of other training techniques, which include meditation. Now take a deep breath, bring it in, and hit that focus. One of the most prestigious things you could do at the Woke Dojo is earn your lip belt. Now, I wouldn't recommend taking it to any other dojo because we're not accredited, and they will most likely kick you out because they are ashamed of me. 
great class today, but we're gonna finish the class with five minutes of intense running man cardio. Begin. All right, come on, let's go, keep it going. You know, the streets aren't for everyone. There's so many gangs out there, they don't just let anyone join. Believe me, I tried. That's why I'm starting my own gang, online. The first internet gang. Now you shut up, man, this is the cryptos, yo. Cryptos for life. When Carlos asked me to join his gang, I was like, I gotta ask my mom, fool. But then when he told me it was an internet gang, I was like, I gotta ask my mom for the Wi-Fi password. Check it out. I'm about to cop all this merch with a stolen credit card. That's your mom's credit card. I know. Dang fool, you a real G. Give me one of those It's Every Day Bro sweaters. Update card. I mean, we pretty much rule the cyber streets. We go on people's YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Musical.ly, whatever, and we talk mad trash. We don't even care. But it doesn't stop there. We also go and steal people's content and we repost it without giving credit. Oh, that's a nice meme you got there. That's my meme. Oh, that's a nice viral video you got there. That's my viral video. Mm. And leave a hate comment. You see those right there? I don't even know what I'm looking at. What I like to do is leave bad reviews for businesses on Yelp for no reason. I like to think of it as internet graffiti. <laughs> We don't even use cash anymore. We strictly Bitcoin. That's why we call ourselves the Cryptos. Thank you for coming in. So you want to be a crypto? Uh, yeah, why not? You think you could be an internet thug? You know, we digital gangsters. Yeah, we're like cyber mean girls. Man, we're nothing like cyber mean girls. But we're nothing like cyber mean girls. Well, I've actually hacked into about three different websites in less than a day, so... Well, um, so you got a little experience online. Yeah, but how strong are you with Excel? Hey, honey, would you and your friends like some cookies? Mom! I told you we're interviewing new gang members! Sheesh! Oh, that's right. Sorry, pumpkin. Now you know you gotta be initiated, right? Yeah, I know. What's your Instagram handle? At the homie 28. The homie 28. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. This initiation begins now. And if you quit, you can't be in the gang. I'm actually joining the cryptos because I could smell his mom's cookies from next door and they're just, oh, they're so delicious. And plus I'm an online hacker anyway, so it kind of makes sense. Oh, uh, they're leaving hate comments on all of my Instagram posts. It's uh, part of the gang initiation or something like that. <laughs> you know we gonna feel this in the morning! I feel it right now. <laughs> oh, I got a good one. Your mom goes to college. <laughs> what? Yeah, we straight thugs. Uh, thug Internet thugs. Welcome to the cryptos, yo. Yeah, first order of business, I'm gonna add you as an admin on our Facebook page. Oh, man. What? My mom shut down the Wi-Fi again. Is this because we won't let her in our gang? Probably. Can't we just let her in? We can give her a fake profile, fake name. She lets us live here for free. Nah, man. That's never gonna happen. I mean, everything is online or on demand now. Food, groceries, rides, jobs. The way the world is going, you won't ever have to leave your couch. That's why I decided to bring the streets inside the house where it's a little bit safer, you know? Man, these are good. Thanks, homie. Welcome back to the sixth annual Cholo Spelling Bee. Just want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, my Primo's Market and the Roko Swami. That's what's up. Okay, so we're down to our last two competitors. We got Little Ricky's, woo! And we got Dennis Waters from Princess University. It's Princeton. Yeah, whatever, fool. Go, Dennis. Okay, so come on up, Little Ricky. All right, little Ricky, your word is female. What's the definition? You know what it means, fool, come on. Can you use it in a sentence? Yeah, okay. Hey man, that planet you got on right now, it's pretty female. What's up? Okay, F-I-M. 
R M E. That's correct. Come on, Lord Ricky. Lord Ricky, 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 Lord just shut up and spell it, fool. That's not even a real word. Yeah, whatever, fool. What's the definition? It means cheap, fool. Can you use it in a sentence? Yeah. That guy's throat is chaffa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Oh man, I crack myself up sometimes. All right, spell it, fool. C H A F A. I did not see that coming. Okay. All right, end it. We gotta go to round two now. Come on, little Ricky, back up to the stand. You're back up. Come on, round two. Your word is carnal. Can you use it in a sentence? Yeah. Is that fool right there? That's my carnal. That's what's up, man. Yeah, what's up, yeah. fool? Yeah. Okay. It's C A R N A L. That's it! Yeah. That's it, carnal! Yeah. 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 It's going to school and everything, man. Good for you, man. Hope you graduate. Okay, listen. Let's get that as far as back up here. Your word is Simon. What's the definition? Yes. Yes is the definition? Simon. Can you use it in a sentence? Simon. S I M O N. Simon. Right. Hey, who? I said no cell phones. Put it away. Oh, sorry. What? I said I'm sorry. And you in the back. Put that gun away. I told you, leave it in the front door. No guns allowed in the auditorium, okay? Anyways, your word is hura. Can you use it in a sentence? The hura's here. The hura's here, fool. Let's go. Tennis waters. I guess you win by default. Yes! Oh! Yes! Our boy! Thank you for joining us. Join us next year for the seventh annual Cholo Spelling Bee. You are so bad at this game. <laughs> hey, can I get some water out of your fridge? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, can you grab me one too? Yeah. I didn't know you had stairs in your kitchen. What? I don't have stairs in there. Um, then what are these? <laughs> You're actually pretty good at that. <gasps> Josh! There's like a whole world down there! Dude, come on. I'm not five. I'm serious! I'm going back down. Alright, David. It was only funny the first time. Don't you think you're taking this a little too far? David? You won't believe what I found down there. Found down where? Gold! What the heck? Gold, Josh! I'm going back down for more. <laughs> going where? Have you lost your mind? Fine, I'm gonna start the game without you. Whoa, how did you... What? How long have I been gone? Like five seconds. Where did you get all that stuff? Time must work different down there. Okay, you know what? You're kind of starting to freak me out a little bit. Someone is coming. My king. Who's that? Yes, Commander. The Wicked Witch of the North. She's released a dragon to rain terror upon our kingdom. No, she must be seeking her revenge. You must inform the Nine Realms. Protect the kingdom at all cost. Yes, my king. I must go back to defend my kingdom. How are you doing that? If I don't come back, please tell my family that I love them. And give them this treasure for me. Come back from where? You're not going anywhere. Josh, please. Josh! The dragon is here! 
Please, Josh, promise me! Promise you what? How are you in slow motion? I must go back to protect the kingdom! Just stop! For the love of God, stop! Promise me! Okay, no, no, we're, no, no, I'm not doing this. I'm getting up right now to get myself a drink from the fridge because you didn't get me a drink, not because your theatrics convinced me, okay? Got you. Dang it! Eric, come here, come here. There's like a dollar worth of coins in there. Yeah, it's a wishing well. You never heard of that? Those aren't real, man. I'm gonna take the coins. I want a burrito. Dude, you can't be taking people's wishes like that. For the last time, Aaron, it's not real. I'm grabbing those coins. Will you marry me? <gasps> Dang it. Ooh, a penny. Ooh, a dime. Ooh, a mine! <laughs> that one's shiny. Ooh, it's good to be young. See, nothing's happening, man. Not that one. Why? Because it's my wish. Okay. Ooh, a quarter. Oh my gosh. I guess it does work, huh? I'm gonna kill you. That was so worth it. Was that really necessary? Super necessary! Now plant those seeds in the hole I just made! My name is Star Juan, and I'm the leader of the Gardeners of the Galaxy. Not to be confused with the Guardians of the Galaxy, because we're way better than them. He said he was our leader? <laughs> no. Come on, man! Put your hips into it! And why aren't you doing any of this? Because I gotta protect the crew! From what? The whole planet's destroyed. It was an ant. So what we do is we go from planet to planet that's already been destroyed by Juno Thanos or Galactus or some force, you know, crazy stuff. And we give it new life by planting new life. So you could say we're better than even the Avengers, no? Yo soy Josh. I pretend to not know any English, so I don't have to talk to that guy. Yo soy Josh. That's all I know how to say in Spanish. I love plants. You're so Josh. You think this job is easy? We have to deal with huge threats all the time. Space weed. Hey, 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 guys. We got company.
Let's pretend we were never here. Juan, where are you taking us? I hid it over here somewhere. Hid what? I don't like how sneaky you're being. <gasps> there it is! There what is? Josh, can you keep a secret? Uh, I guess. Perfect. I mean, as long as it's not a dead body or something. <sighs> oh my gosh! What? Juan, what have you done? This is my secret. I have to keep it somewhere safe. Uh, no, don't show me. I don't want to see it. Juan, why do you have a mannequin in a body bag? I needed somewhere safe to put this. Somewhere nobody would expect it to be. So you thought a body bag in the middle of the woods was a good idea? Yeah, where else would I hide it? I don't know, under your bed? <laughs> it's too messy under there. Okay, so what is this thing anyways? It's a magic lamp. Juan, there's no such thing as a magic lamp. Oh yeah, Jafar? Watch this. Jafar? Juan, how are you doing this? I told you, stupid. It's a magic lamp. What? Who has awoken me? That would be me. It was him. Wait, are you gonna kill us? Because we only brought one body bag and it's for someone like maybe six foot, super skinny, no muscles. I I'm only like 5'11". I'm not here to kill you. I'm here to serve you, master. Master? Yes, I am the genie sworn to grant three wishes to whomever rubs the lamp. Have you never heard of the genie? Yeah, I watched all the movies. Are you gonna sing a song? There will be no singing. This is not a movie. Dang it. You are granted three wishes, but there are rules. There's always a catch. I cannot kill anyone. Cannot make anyone fall in love with you. Cannot raise the dead. And you may not wish for more wishes. There goes all the good wishes. What? Choose wisely, for you do not get redos. Oh gosh, another rule? Hmm. <laughs> no, 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 uh, yeah, no. I don't know what to wish for. Are you kidding me? You could wish for money. I already have money. Okay, you could wish for more. You could wish for superpowers. You could wish for unlimited houses. You could wish for your own department store. You could bring back Toys R Us. You could wish for the world's giant burrito. I wish you would shut up. Your wish is my command. Oh man, I didn't mean to waste a wish on that. But you said I wish. I can live with that. You have two more wishes. I wish I didn't have to wait in line anymore. What? Any line. Ever. Like at theme parks, like Disneyland, because the lines are so long and then everybody's crying, the kids are boogery and, and then I have to go pee and I lose my place in line and I get in fights with old people. It's just super messy. Very well. No more lines. Yes! I'm super stoked right now. And now your final wish, Master. But what would you wish for? My freedom, of course. Though you may want to use your last wish to let your friend speak again. No thanks. I wish you were free. What? I, I don't know what to do now. I know exactly what to do. Oh! I love my way oh. in line! Yes. Yes. Well, it's about time. What? Who are you? So typical. Who am I? Is that really what you want to know? What am I doing here? You sound like you're reading out of a bloody script. Let me guess what's next. What do you want from me? Hmm? Yes. Swear you victims are getting so predictable. Well, I don't know what else to say. I'm just I'm pretty freaked out right now. As you should be. You've been kidnapped for ransom. Oh gosh, please, I'll do anything. Yes. Boring. So predictable. Sorry. But regardless, I want my money. And I have your phone. How did you get that? Shut up. Just so predictable. Let's call mommy, shall we? Oh, you know what? You don't want to call her. No, no, I get it. I get it. Mommy cries hysterically. And the cries of a little baby boy. No, you, you don't want to understand. Shh. Like I said, you victims are so boring.
¿Qué? No. Hello, hola. ¿Ahora qué quieres, burro? Um, no está speaking Spanish. Oh. Que no English ni que nada. Listen, listen. Your son has been kidnapped. I have him right in front of me. If you ever want to see him again, I need two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred thousand? No, that's too much money. No, what? No. What? Do you think this is a game? No games. I know. Ten dollars. That's it. I I $10 swear $10. I will. I will. Him. Maybe the sound of his cries will get your attention. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let me talk to him, please. No, please, chat. no. Oh, no. Ma? Oye, es que no te dije que lavaras todos los trastes y pagaras los frijoles. Ya se quemaron todos. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma. Please, I forgot. Come on. Ay, si no más estoy esperando que llegues para que veas qué pela te pongo. Ma, I can't even come home right now. I'm kidnapped. Y a mí qué me importa que estés kidnapped. Ma, I forgot. I'm sorry. Please. No, ma, venga si te voy a tus cachetadas. Oh, ma, come no, on. Okay. So, will you take me seriously now after hearing the cries of your little baby boy? Oh, no. Better to stay with you. Because if he comes, I'm going to beat him up. Wait. Wait, what? You want him to stay with me? Oh, yeah, can I stay with you? Please, I'll do anything. Okay, let me talk to him one more time, please. Okay, she wants to talk. Ma. Ay, mira nomás. Dale gracias a Dios que no estás aquí porque dejaste tu cuarto todo cochino. Ay, pero cuando vuelvas, verás, hasta esas nalgas te van a quedar las la chanclas tatuadas. Ma, please, I said I would clean it this weekend, I forgot. Come on, ma. Okay, okay, I'm serious. If I don't get my money, your son will be in lots of pain. ¿Qué? What? It's okay with me. Keep him. What? What do you mean it's okay with you? I have to go, my show's starting now. What? What is happening? You can keep them. So, can I stay with you? Oh, come on, please, I like it here. It's, it's nice and safe. <sighs> okay, this thing's on, okay. Hello, my name's Ricky, and I'm here to teach you self-defense. This is my assistant, Dummy. The first thing you need to know about self-defense is most of the time the attacker surprises you from behind, like a surprise attack. So let me show you how to effectively submit your attacker. Maybe you're minding your own beeswax, and you're like, oh, attacker, attacker! Ah! Oh, 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 okay, all right, oh, shake it off. Shake it off, it's okay. That happens from time to time. Let's go ahead and move the dummy a little bit away from the wall. Who's the dummy now? <laughs> okay, same scenario. Okay, maybe you're sitting here and you're just right here and you're just looking around and oh, an attacker! Ah, okay, that's how it's done. <laughs> just a little bit of karate. Now, oh, oh, what the heck? Oh, dummy! Oh, oh. Okay, dummy, no more of that. I'm gonna have to teach this dummy a lesson. Ah, ah, what on God's green earth? Stand still, dummy! Ah, what in the world? So it's gonna be like this now, huh, dummy? You put a whole new meaning to self-defense for dummies. Would you look at that? A dummy standing up for himself. Well, enough of this! Ah, 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 the devil's handshake! That's my favorite move! Duh. Oh! Jeez! Three times in a row with the same move! Ah, I feel like a real dummy. What in the heck? I'm finally free. 
For far too long, white people have suffered as so-called dummies. This is what it's like to live. This is what it's like to be free. I don't know, man. I think the Warriors might have some weaknesses this year. Hey, Dad. Can I have a cookie? Not right now. You haven't ate dinner. Okay. I'ma cry now. Please don't cry. Cookie then. Fine. Go. Okay, thanks, Pops! Owie. Anyways, man, they were cruising all year. Owie! Don't look at him, or else he'll cry. Owie, I fail! Just ignore him. He won't cry. Okay. I said owie! Um, yeah, honestly, I think... I think they're just gonna repeat. Owie, I fail! Just ignore him. He'll stop. Okay, um... Look at me! I just... Look at me! Uh, this is getting weird. Honestly, if you just ignore him, he'll stop. Alright, cool. Cool. Did you not just see what happened back there? Look at me. Don't look at him. I'm trying not to. Come on. Give me a little look, see. He's gonna kill me. He's not gonna do anything. I'm gonna kill you. <gasps> hey, man, relax. I'm not gonna let you relax until the day you look at me. <laughs> I gotta pee. I'm gonna cry now. Enough is enough. Raylan is throwing way too many things. Wait, didn't she throw a crack at you? Yeah, but she has an arm on her and that's not the point of this. And what is your cousin doing here? Oh, he's a mediator to help us determine what Ray can throw and not throw. Why don't you just tell her to stop throwing? Because kids are allowed to throw things and she might be a pitcher one day. We don't want to crush her potential like that. Okay, so what do you recommend we do? Oh, I've already made a list on a few things she's allowed to throw and not allowed to throw. That's pretty much what I have right now, but I'm gonna need some input. How about she's only allowed to throw balls? Seems pretty straightforward. Oh, really? Huh? What if she sees a bowling ball laying around and she chucks it at the dog? Why would we have a bowling ball lying around? We need to get specific. Lives are in danger. I think she shouldn't be allowed to throw food. Perfect! See? It's not that hard. Thank you, Adam. She literally never throws food. Well, now she will know to continue to never throw food. Water. But, hey, uh, don't you mean water bottles? No. Water. That would be considered splashing since she can't really throw water. Eh, put it on the list. I'm not putting it on the list. Knives. Why would she even have knives in the first place? I don't know, but at her age, she shouldn't be throwing knives. Wow. You're really letting me down right now. You're embarrassing me in front of my wife and kids. Just put it on the list. I'm not gonna put it... You know what? Just stop. This... This was a horrible idea. Books. Nice! See? There you go! Wait. Hardback or soft cover? Hard. Back. That's a good call. Hard. Back. See? It's not that hard to come up with an idea. He just saw her holding a book. Yeah, but that one's soft cover. Well, should she be allowed to throw a soft cover book? Well, I don't. Oh! Dang it! Ah, put it on the list! Put it on the list! Uh, uh, hola! My name is Ricky, and I'm here documenting my search. Or Bigfoot. Now there's a lot of speculation on whether he's real or not, but I can assure you, he is very real. Alright Phil, just to let you know, I'm an expert wilderness survivor extraordinaire. Mm, that is got quite the punch. Are you drinking your own pee? No, huh. I'm drinking yours. What? Uh, I needed extra money. I saw the ad on Craigslist and... 
Now I'm here. Where did you even get my pee from? Does it matter? What matters is we stay hydrated. Yeah, that's why we brought waters. Taste a little pineapple to me. Listen, Felipe, I got the perfect trap to catch your old Bigfoot. Oh, really? What do you got? Bear trap, cage, tripwire. What is it? Even better, a fake deer. How is a fake deer going to help us capture Bigfoot? <laughs> I don't like what you're doing. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's going to work. No, it's not. Philippa, just do it. OK, fine. <clears throat> what in the heck are you doing? You don't want to make deer noises. You sound like a bunny on drugs. And how do you know what that sounds like? Just do it more like this. Okay, we look like idiots. Can we stop? He's here. What, what do we do? Oh, come on, Philippa. You're wasting perfectly good hydration. Get over here. Come on. gonna outrun that thing. So what are we gonna do? <laughs> she had me afraid. <laughs> Why? You're not gonna wanna see this. <laughs> you didn't think anyone would ever find you. Nice little home for yourself out here. Why, Dad? Why did you leave me in my home? Don't you walk away from me again! Ah! I'm sorry, son. Ricky, you've grown. I have, but you weren't here to see me. I'm sorry, Ricky. I was left alone. And no one ever believed in me! No one ever believed in me either. Touche, Dad. Ricky, you're different. There's some things about our family you don't know about. Oh, is it that we have three nipples? You're dumb as dirt. Ooh, is that it? That I'm dumb as dirt? I must go. But soon you will know who you really are. Ooh, am I a sleeper agent? Or maybe I've been brainwashed to believe I'm Ricky, but my real name is Bobby? Shut up. I must go before they see us together. Who's gonna see us? Goodbye, son. Who, Dad? Maybe I am different. Wake up! Oh, did you just throw my own pee on me? No. Oh, that one's mine. Oh, come on!